Hello friends. I am here at Red Bloom. I am dirty and sweaty and nasty. I have been emptying this main floor of things, rearranging our front lobby, reorganizing my desk, unpacking cleaners and hand sanitizers and disinfectant wipes, playing with our big practice room, rearranging things, moving the props we do have up and away, figuring out traffic flow, cleaning our kitchen. Whoo, it's been a day. Plus the rain, which it's raining again. Oh, it's making it super humid. So um, I'm taking a break and I'm hopping on here to do our Just Breathe today. And uh, I thought as I'm cleaning and turning the lights on and getting rid of the cobwebs that have happened since mid-March, that we need to breathe some life and joy back into Red Bloom in the preparation for our return. I really see us returning sometime maybe in July. Um, I'm so pleased that we can do outdoor practices before that at the gardens at Mountain Town Station. That will be in June 20th. Um, and I kind of feel like I need that much time before we return to this building uh, to get everything ready and wrap my head around how we're going to do everything and make sure everything is set and I'm prepared. Um, we're starting a slow roll open. Um, Refuge is coming tonight, or not tonight, Friday, to um, do their support group. Um, I think Eric has been in here once or twice. Um, Marin has a plan for returning and after the 15th of June, which is next Monday, uh, all of you that are doing privates with me, if you would like to do them in person, we can do them here. Uh, we would need to take precautions and um, do a health screening as you come in. We'll have to wear masks. So Zoom may still be a better option at this point, um, but we could have that possibility. Also, um, we can do small groups in here. So if you want to have a private class with you and say four of your friends or um, anything like that, we could, I'm willing to put up a couple of hammocks um, probably no more than four because that will allow us to space it and then I can really disinfect and wash them when we're done. Um, so if you're interested in any of that, let me know. Privates are a great way to get into the building. Privates are a fantastic way to deepen your practice anyway. Um, I'm sure those of you that have been doing some privates with me could probably speak to that almost better than I could. I know I love the individualized attention that everyone gets with that. So um, let's get back to just breathe, shall we? If you don't know me, my name is Chris Batzner and I am the owner and program coordinator here at Red Bloom Yoga in Mount Pleasant. And we are online currently. We will soon be outdoors and eventually back in our studio. Today we are going to find our breath of joy. And I love the breath of joy. It is invigorating. It is resetting. It is... Um, Joyful, for lack of a better word. Uh, I woke up this morning kind of grumpy. I didn't sleep well. Um, we have a new kitten, if you know me. Um, we have a new kitten who, kittens are like babies. They like to play at night. And so it was a long night of trying to get the girls settled and get the kitten settled. And um, it was hot and just, it, you know, everything. So I didn't sleep well. So I woke up grumpy and I woke up tired. And then I'm here, I'm working hard. And I thought, we just need to breathe some joy. Plus it's rainy and everything else going on in the world is heavy and hard and difficult. And so we're going to breathe. And I invite you to do this breath of joy with me today, wherever you are, and send that energy, that joyfulness, and that brightness, and that lightness to Red Bloom. We can fill up these walls with joy, with light, with sunshine, with openness, with acceptance. And um, that, will, that will really, you can feel a difference when we do stuff like that. So here's how we do breath of joy. It's a three, it's a four part breath three parts of an inhale. So we inhale, 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 exhale. And we've done this before on Just Breathe, but I thought today would be a good day to do it again. There is no exhale between our inhales. So we inhale and then exhale. We hold that breath for a moment between those three parts of our inhale. Our exhale is open mouth. Just like that. And we have 
um, some arm movements. And I love these arm movements because it kind of gathers all of that joy up. And then we sweep all the cobwebs, we sweep all the dust and grime, we sweep all of the grumpiness, excuse me, away. And that's kind of what I've been doing in this building today is sweeping out the cobwebs, sweeping out the old, clearing the dust, making everything shine and sparkle and be nice and clean and reorganizing and restructuring everything. And we can bring in the joy and get rid of the old and the dust and the, the dark and the closed. So I'm going to stand up. I'm going to move my camera. I'm so sweaty and dirty. Yuck. And make sure you're standing nice and solid. My feet want to be a little bit wider than hip distance and my knees are soft so we don't walk out and fall over because this is a vigorous breath. As we inhale the first time, our arms sweep up towards the center. We inhale again, out to the side. Inhale the third time, and then we exhale. Sweep it all away. It's as simple as that. Let's do five breaths just like that. Let's begin by taking a full breath in and out. Soften those knees and let's breathe in, 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 out, again. Three more, two more, one more. Good, hands to our heart. Maybe close our eyes, take a breath. Turn our lips up in a smile. Find some gratitude. <sighs> Feel that energy. Good, and then release your hands. So let's do this one more time. And I want us to do something specific with this one. When we exhale, I want us to think of something specific that you want to let go of. And you can even say it. Like for me today, it would be letting go of my grumpiness. I'm just grumpy today. It's just one of those days. And so I would inhale, inhale, inhale. And then I could just say, ah, oh, grumpiness. Just get it out like that. Or you can just think I'm getting rid of grumpiness or whatever you're choosing to let go. But it's super powerful when we have a really directed intention and pair that intention with our breath. So I'm going to guide us through this breath. We'll do this three times. Three is a magic number. And then we'll pause and breathe. Feel that energy again. Are you ready? Feet a little bit apart. Knees are soft. Full breath in and out. And let's begin. Remember to let it go. One more, biggest one yet. Hands to our heart, flat on our chest, close our eyes, lips up in a smile. And now think about what we bring in. What do we invite in to that space that we have cleared? Whether it's joy, whether it's acceptance, whether it's change, whether it's who knows what love, strength, peace, could be anything. Three more breaths, just like this. Hmm. And then blink our eyes open. I hope that you are a little bit more joyful now and that you have a little bit more energy and your perspective has shifted a little bit. I can feel the brightness. I can feel the joy coming into our building and it's just beautiful. I can't wait for you to experience it with me as well. Have a beautiful Wednesday. Be well. Be at peace. Namaste.